best. Is that true? Uh, we try to talk a lot, but um, really don't distinguish who's the best. You know, we just work hard and hope for the best, but we really don't, you know, talk about it much. You guys have a competition so you can cause the most turnovers this season. Think you're gonna beat him in that? Uh, I hope so. You know, I mean, like I said, we work hard at it, and uh, I mean, it's a great way to compete and and uh, be great. So might as well make a uh, make fun out of it. What's it like being a twin and playing the same sport and having that sibling rivalry? Um, playing the sport with a twin, I mean, it's always good. You know, because at all times, you know, someone will have your back. I mean, uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, to be able to share your accomplishments with someone and always having someone close to you. So. Have you talked to Eric since you've been here? Has he given you any advice now that you've kind of been here a little while? Uh, yeah, I talked to Eric. Uh, well, really, before I came here, and he just gave me the basics of college. Um, you know, keeping up with your schoolwork, uh, staying on top of your plays, and and really just, you know, being smart because it's the real world now and. You just have to be smart and make smart decisions. Is it weird or funny or anything when you walk around the hallways of the complex and you see his jersey up or you see a picture of him or do you even think of him as your brother at all? Um, I mean, it's, I get a little weird uh, feeling every now and then, but, I mean, I've seen it so many times and I kind of prepared myself to see it. So, I mean, I, sometimes I don't even notice. Is that a lot to live up to, knowing what you did and your dad did here at all, or do you try to not even think about that and kind of set your own pace? I try not to think about it. You know, I just uh, do what I can do. Was there ever thought that maybe you might not want to go someplace where you're going to have the expectations set by your dad and brother, or was that something that you embraced? Um, I kind of embraced it, you know. I mean, it's always good to have a, a, a milestone in front of you and great goals ahead of you, especially that's made by your family members, you know, and – I mean, it's just overall good experience to have, you know, like goals to reach. It. Knowing how much Eric loved Tennessee and loves Tennessee now, take us through when you told him that you were going to sign with Tennessee. Um, well, I wasn't there. I actually texted him because uh, it was in the middle of his season at the time. But uh, when I told him I committed, he was obviously proud and – and I wish I could see his facial expression, expression, but uh, you know I was texting him like I said, so I really couldn't tell you much about that. Has there been an, an upperclassman that's kind of taken you under his wing uh, to this point, kind of showed you the ropes a little bit since you've been here? Uh, yeah, um, Kurt Majit, he's really done a good job of you know showing me around and making me feel at home as much as possible. But uh, with the new coaching staff and especially Coach Jones, he. He actually requires the uh, upperclassmen to, you know, to take care of the underclassmen to make sure everything's going all right. Did you and Elliot going to go to the same school? Or did y'all ever think about splitting up? No, we never thought about splitting up. Um, we wouldn't put that kind of stress on my parents to come see him play one week and then come back and see me play. So we always say we're going to stay together. Are y'all rooming together or what have you thought about? Did you ever think about rooming together? Yeah, we're rooming together. I mean, can you just talk about your relationship with Inky Johnson and your decision to, to wear number 29? Uh, yeah, Inky Johnson, you know, obviously had a, a career-ending injury. And, you know, I think every day that people would love to be in my shoes right now, you know, to be playing at the University of Tennessee. And just to show my respect for him, and I didn't really want anyone to wearing, wearing hit that number and not really knowing the meaning behind that number. So I decided to take that number and wear it and represent it. Been like for you this summer? Has it been hard? Has it been easy more than you expected? I mean, it's kind of been what I expected, but um, you really don't get to sleep often. That's what one, one thing I could say. You don't really get to sleep often, but that's about it. You know, everything is going good. What was that kind of hard? Those first couple mornings when you're having to get up at five or six, whatever they're making you guys do. But was that kind of a rude awakening to it at all? No, not really. Can you change to watch you work it out more? <laughs> um, cornerback. Yes, sir. Do you get a chance to watch your brother? I mean, do you catch up on your brother's games on Sundays? Do you DVR? Do you get to watch him play, or do you just kind of look for the look, look for the highlights? Yeah, I watch him play most of the time. But um, in Atlanta, you know, you don't really get uh, you get regional coverage, so you really don't get to see a lot of Kansas City games. But um, most of the time, I go online and look at it, or if I have time, you know, I can schedule it on a DVR and 
watch it that way. Do you see yourself as a quarterback kind of long term, or do you want to try any other positions, any offense, or where do you kind of see yourself? I just want to get on the field as quick as possible. You know, I really don't care what position I play. just want to help my team win and be, be successful. And can you kind of compare and contrast you and Elliott, just kind of what maybe you do a little better or what he does a little bit better? Um, that's kind of hard because him and I work so hard on, on being diverse, you know, being able to play wherever coach wants to play. So it's kind of hard. We're both kind of well-rounded. As, as a freshman, do, do you think sky's the limit or do you try to, you know, kind of keep that bottled up, you know, your expectations and the impact you and this class can make this season? Um, well, honestly, I expect a lot out of myself as well as the freshman class. And, you know, um, Coach Jones did a very good job of recruiting uh, these athletes for this class. And, I mean, why not expect a lot from us? You have been asked already, but how about positionally for you right now? I know both you and your brother can do a lot of different things. Where's maybe your focus been right now in workouts and things like that? Um, right now I'm currently a corner. Do you, do you prefer that to safety? I know you're probably going to want to do whatever is best for the team, but do you have a preference on either corner or safety or nickel or any of the No, not really. Just defensive back. Football's football. Right, right. Any idea what the prize would be for the, uh, the twin who gets the most uh, turnovers? Just bragging rights, really. You know, nothing too spectacular. Do you guys have a like a good competition going? I mean, anytime you have brothers on a team, but now you've got twins, is there any raised level of competition between you guys at practice, in the weight room, anything like that? Um, Not really, but we compete, obviously, because, you know, we're brothers, but um, really don't take it kind of too far. How often would y'all get back to campus when they're for Eric's games and stuff like that? Um, could you repeat that? How often would you and your twin go be on campus to watch Eric's games? Or when he was here? Yeah. Um, quite often, you know, with us playing, um, you know, it depends on what time of the year because uh, when he was here, we was actually playing um, recreational football, and we played on Saturdays as well. So I guess when we had our bye weeks or whenever our season ended, you know, we go see him play as much as uh, possible. Yeah, it was. Uh, it would be. I thought to myself, it would be great. You know, to play behind my brother and. Uh, you no, know, I kind of stay open to the decision coming here, but um, eventually made my choice and I'm here. Having two, of, having two of you, you know, being with your, your your dad and your brother being who they are around here. Does having a twin brother help a little bit at all with that? Like, because maybe a lot of times, maybe some people wouldn't understand what you're having to go through, but I imagine a twin brother probably would. Does that does that help at all? Um, I mean, go through what? Just in terms of pressure or anything that you would feel about. Wow, my name is Barry, and I'm playing in Tennessee. Like, I got to do this or that. Oh no, I don't really uh, experience any pressure. I mean, my dad told me that I'm I'm the only person that can put pressure on myself. So, I mean, it's just playing football, doing what I love. So. The last name name doesn't really put pressure on me. I mean, just football, basically.